often referred to as the backbone of the British Army, the Rifle Section, or simply, the Section, was the smallest unit in the British Army during World War II that could operate independently. It historically consisted of eight men, although during the war this was increased to ten. There were usually three rifle sections to a platoon. We will cover the platoon in a later episode. The section organisation At the top, you had the section commander, usually a corporal. His rank was signified by two chevrons, or stripes, on his sleeve. He was armed with either a Thompson submachine gun, or later, the British Den gun. He also carried the section's wire cutters. The section was his command. He had total responsibility for the section, and had to ensure that he carried out the orders given to him by his superiors. After the section commander, you had the assistant section commander, or the 2IC. He held the rank of Lance Corporal, which was signified by a single chevron. He was armed with a standard Lee Enfield rifle, and his role was to assist the commander in the running of the section. When attacking, it was common for the 2IC to take responsibility of the positioning and the command of the section's Bren gun. Next was the number one machine gunner, ranked private, like the remainder of the section. He was armed with the magazine-fed Bren light machine gun, responsible for the firing and the maintenance of the weapon. Then there was the number two gunner, armed with the standard rifle, carrying a spare barrel for the machine gun and an extra six magazines. It was his job to assist the Bren gunner in firing the machine gun, but also to gather up any extra ammo that was required from the section, as every member carried spare magazines for the Bren. The rest of the section were made up of riflemen, armed with the standard Lee Enfield rifle. The section was like a family. They did everything together. They lived, slept and trained together. A strong sense of competition between the sections and the platoon was encouraged by its officers. They would well know each other's strengths and their weaknesses. It is often reported that the bond in a section was so strong that if the section was to suffer casualties, it would be better to separate the section than to try and introduce a new member to the section. This has been the basic description of a rifle section of the British Army during World War II. If you want to see more or to go into more detail, please like this video. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.